We talk about the expanding universe all the time, but what's fueling that expansion? It's something called dark energy. So where does dark energy even come from? In quantum mechanics, empty space is not really empty. According to the uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics, virtual particles are constantly popping in and out of existence, and this is called quantum fluctuations. Now imagine that happening across the entire universe. As space expands, more empty space appears. And more space means more quantum fluctuations, which means more vacuum energy, also known as more dark energy. But wait, if dark energy keeps growing as the universe expands, why didn't it tear everything apart before galaxies or life could even form? The answer lies in fine tuning. In a flat universe, Einstein's equation say that the relative density of dark energy, omega lambda, and matter, omega matter, always add up to about one. As the universe expands, omega lambda increases and omega matter decreases, but always in this delicate balance. Now let's rewind the early universe. If the cosmological constant, the thing that models the effect of dark energy, had been just a bit bigger, the universe would have expanded too fast. No time for stars, no galaxies, no planets, and no life. Here is the kicker. Quantum physics predicts the energy in empty space should be 10 to the power of 120 times bigger than what we observe. A factor of 10 might be okay in physics, but 10 to the power of 120, that's the worst prediction in all of science. If that prediction were true, the universe would have inflated so fast, nothing could have formed. Not matter, not stars, not even us. So how did we end up with the perfect value? Just small enough to let galaxies and life form, and not too high that it shatters everything apart. That's where the idea of fine-tuning comes in. It's like hitting the cosmic jackpot. The odds are astronomically low. So the big question remains, was the universe designed with intention or are we just a lucky accident? For more, check out Atheism Delusion book by Ahmed Al-Hassan.